Hey everyone, it's your girl Lexi Wilson coming at you at night when I don't normally do that. Um, <laughs> but I felt so called to jump on a live and to talk to you guys. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna jump on and if uh, people show up, then that's great. If they don't, then no problem because this will be available for the replay. And I'll also have it on my IGTV as well. Uh, so I'll be available on Instagram and on Facebook. Hi, Natalie. Hey, Rochelle. Yay, you guys. My sisters are on here, my biz babes. <laughs> So I don't want to make this too long, so I'm going to jump straight into um, the topic, which you can tell by the title. This is really about you know people who are struggling with anxiety, people who are struggling with just feeling disconnected. Today, I basically spent the entire time offline, okay? I did not plug into Facebook, plug into Instagram, or anything of that nature today. I went to the Disney store. If you know me, that is my happy place. Um, <laughs> I bought some Disney cups. Hi, Ashley Monique. Um, I bought some Disney cups today. I got some new clothes from H&M and Forever 21 because I am Forever 21. <laughs> and uh, I had a great day. It was so amazing. And it was exactly what I needed. I felt when I woke up this morning that I needed to step away from the interwebs. Hi, Kate. Oh my gosh, lots of people. Maybe I should be coming on live at night because apparently a lot of y'all are down. You're down for this. <laughs> uh, but how are you guys? Please say hello to me in the comments and let me know where you're watching from too. Um, so yeah, so this morning I woke up and I knew that I needed to step away from the computer. Now, here's the thing. Um, I wasn't sure if that was what I truly needed to do because my business, I'm actually holding a sale uh, to, yeah, from yesterday, today, and till tomorrow night. Um, so the idea of stepping away from my business or stepping away from the internet when I'm holding a sale is not really something that I naturally am like, yeah, I'm down to do that. Um, but I knew that I, I had to do it. I knew that I needed to take a break today. So that's exactly what I did. And then it, in doing so, hi, Amy, I got all these like messages, downloads, you know, whatever you want to call them. I got them today and I knew that I had to share it out to, to you guys. So if you're super excited about today, go ahead and give me some hearts uh, because I am really like on fire and pumped up and it's 8.30 at night here and I feel like I'm like ready to go because of everything that I have on my heart. So, okay. It, thank you so much, you guys, for the hearts and the likes. <laughs> yes, hey, Amy. Okay, so here's what kind of came to me. We have to be, we have to remember that every single thing that we do affects our energy, everything. Everything we watch, everything we eat, everything that we put on our body, it affects and alters our energy, okay? So if you think of that, I want you to think back to how you spent your day today. What were the thoughts that you had spent a lot of time on? What were the actions you took? Where did you go? How are you giving yourself what you need to be at optimal energy, whether that be low anxiety, feeling motivated, feeling inspired, whatever the case is. If you, if you can sit back or sit down and think, I don't really think I did anything today that actually helped my energy. I focused on work, I did this, I took care of the kids, I did all of that. I don't think I gave to myself today. We have a problem. Houston, we have a problem, okay? <laughs> Now, put a one in the comments if you've been guilty of that. Spent an entire day, spent an entire couple of days, maybe even a week, maybe even more than that, not giving to yourself, not focused on your energy and putting back into your energy. Some of us call this self-care, but I'm going to take it to another level because it's not just about self-care. Crystal, hey, it's, it's so much more. It is self-care, but it's so much more expansive because right now people focus on self-care and it's like the buzzword. I need you guys to think of this in a, in a more like grand way where it's like, this isn't just about taking care of myself. This is about literally giving myself the energy necessary to do the things that I want to do. So here's something that you got to keep in mind. You're already starting at a disadvantage mostly every day. Okay. Hi, Brianna. Hi, Olivia. Hey. Okay, Olivia is guilty. Yes, all right. I mean, not Olivia, Ashley Monique. She's guilty. So, okay, I feel you. Thank you for connecting with me on that. Okay, we're already starting at a disadvantage when we wake up because here's the thing when we wake up, we have the environment, 
The environment is constantly altering our energy. We have chemicals, we have radiation, and all these other things that are constantly, because of our cell phones, because of our computer and technology, microwaves, ovens, and all these other things, although they're excellent, they are constantly feeding us waves that alter and change our natural body energy, okay? I'm not going to get too deep into the science of it because that would be an entire different thing, okay? So... You have to think about, okay, number one, you're starting off and your energy is already altered because of that. Most of us are also waking up by an alarm clock. So we're not listening to our intuitive nudges of when our body wants to go to sleep and when our body wants to wake up. So you have another disadvantage where you're having to obey a, uh, an outside source to determine whether or not uh, you need to wake up or whatever. That affects your energy. Hi, Tamiko. Welcome. Thank you guys for the hearts. Okay. All right. Then you have another disadvantage because a lot of us, we're on a budget, okay? So we can't necessarily get the most healthiest of foods, right? So we're getting meats and fruits and vegetables that aren't necessarily organic, already have nasty chemicals and things like that on them, that when we consume them, it affects our energy. Do you guys feel me? Does that make sense to you? Put it to you in the comments if that makes sense to you. When you're eating something, for example, MSG, okay, that's an ingredient that many of us are aware isn't the healthiest thing. I remember learning in school, okay, because if you guys don't remember, I used to be a family therapist, so I have a graduate degree in that. And one of my, like my thesis was about on anxiety and all of the different things that affect our anxiety, including uh, chemical and um, other resources, like even so much as like your shower, your shower curtain, the smell and the fumes that come from the plastic of that can actually create an adrenaline rush within your body that can create anxiety. And yet it's just polyurethane from the shower. Isn't that crazy? Anyway, so I know a lot about this stuff and I like science. I'm sort of geeky so I can get you into it, but I'm not going to get too deep. So MSG, right? Okay. MSG has become something that we are, we know that is harmful because of the fact that it alters the neurons in our brain. It fires it off or it kills them or whatever and affects the, the health of our brain. So we're not supposed to eat it. It's in a lot of our Chinese foods, which I love. Um, it does add taste to it, which is why it's used. But we know that it does affect our body. Our brain literally doesn't like MSG. It does all this weird stuff to it. A lot of the foods that we all eat, they don't have MSG, but they have other chemicals in them. Hi, Katrina, that affect and alter our physical brain chemistry, our physical DNA and body. Okay, this is why we have people fighting for non-GMO foods and all these other things, because we know that this stuff truly modifies how our body reacts to things. Now, if you're sensitive to mental health issues like me, yay, so blessed. <laughs> or if you have anxiety, a lot of these foods that we're eating can actually trigger an adrenaline rush. They can trigger on a firing off in our brain, causing us to be like over the top, to be sad, to be anxious, all of that stuff. If you have an overabundance of even sugar in your system, it can actually um, create a harder time for your body to develop serotonin and dopamine, which contributes to your feeling happy and motivated. So when you don't have enough of that, you don't feel motivated and you don't feel happy. You feel me? Put a three in the comments if you feel me. Okay. So now that, that, and this is like, I'm glossing over this stuff. Okay. Cause I really don't want to get too deep into it. But when you think of that, and you think of how often many of us can't afford to have an all organic kitchen, okay? We wake up in the morning, we go get eggs, we go get bread, we go get fruit, and this food is altered, okay? So those are some of the disadvantages that we naturally have as soon as we wake up first thing in the morning. We have the environment going off all crazy, our alarms uh, telling us to ignore our natural body clock, we have the food that we eat and that we're consuming affecting our DNA, affecting the way that we operate. So what do you have control over? Because it's really easy to then say like, well, since I can't control any of those things, what can, what can I control? Here's number one. I'm going to start with food, okay? We're going to start with, with food because although I just said it's something that many of us can't control because of finances, you can compromise on some things. So for example, I try to get as organic as I can when it comes to meat. I love me some meat, okay? Uh, so I try to get foods that I can identify where that food came from, all right? 
pasture raised foods, um, fish that is wild caught and not fish farmed or whatever, um, you know, as, as much as I can afford it. If I get fruit, I try to get fruit that is organic unless it has a thick skin, like grapefruit, where I know that it already has something that's naturally going to protect it from some of the chemicals that we put on it. If you haven't listened to my podcast, uh, I just posted it on Monday. You need to listen to it. I talk about anxiety and diet, and I get into even deeper about this, okay? But I try my hardest to go as organic as I can, as I can afford with some of my things, because I know that when I have hormones, added hormones, when I have all this other stuff, I seem to have issues with my anxiety. It fires off a lot more, okay? And I, and I have no reason for it. But I recognize, okay, my food contributes to that a lot, all right? So let me read some of these comments before I keep going, because I know I'm just talking and talking and talking. All right, Crystal says, my energy is finally back. Good. My wedding was this weekend. Congratulations, girl. And I've been so exa exhausted. I participated in my kiddos' art class to unwind today. Good for you. Good for you. So today, everybody was taking a chill pill. Yes, I love that. Creative endeavors are even perfect in spending time with your baby. That's even more better. I mean, more better. <laughs> my brother used to say that when he was as a kid. Um, anyway, but that's even better. So that's awesome. Crystal says, unrelated, you and I are matching nail polish. Go <laughs> blue. I love it. It's my favorite color. Okay. So Katrina says, so true. Good, good, good. Hey, Rolina. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. So this is good. I'm glad you guys are on, on target with me. Tamika says, sometimes you eat something and I don't feel the effects until days later. Oh, Tamika. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I was just about to talk about that because that's exactly, yes, you were totally right. That's me with donuts. <laughs> so again, listen to my podcast, you guys. It's the Lexi Wilson podcast show. It's available on iTunes and Spotify because I shared about my struggle this weekend. I went overboard on donuts, Cheetos, and everything. And it really affected me on Sunday. Like, real, I, it happened on Saturday, and I didn't feel the full effects of it until Sunday. I mean, until, yeah, until Sunday and Monday. Um, and then only today am I now starting to feel like sort of back into myself, but I'm being very careful tonight. I wanted to have a donut so bad, but then I was like, girl, stop it. You can't have this donut. Not because it's fattening, not because it's unhealthy, but because it's going to alter your energy and you're going to pay for it for days. So listen to the podcast um, because you'll sh I'll share a little bit about what I learned from that. And at the same time, yes, like how to deal with that, how to recover because that does happen. You eat something and you're, you don't feel it for a day or two days. And that thing lingers for a long time and sugar, maybe I'll do a whole video on this. Sugar is a big thing. If, if you're intuitive, if you're really naturally connected to, to, you know, like God energy and things like that, you will feel a difference in yourself in your self connection, your self confidence, your ability to just feel connected to your higher self. You will feel a difference if you eat too much sugar. I am telling you now. Okay. So the things that you have control over, number one is food. Focus on, on trying to get as healthy as you can afford. Okay. Focus on also making intuitive choices. For example, today when I was at the mall, it was so easy for me to go and pick up some nasty fast food because it was right there. It's at the mall. It's a food court, right? But I realized, you know what? I don't want to do this because I just am still trying to recover off of Saturday's, you know, nasty food binge eating thing. So now that I'm feeling in my energy, you know what? I'm going to try to go to an organic or mostly vegetable type of diet. And that's what I did. I went to this place that was like Chinese food. Again, not the healthiest, but I stuck with a mostly vegetable diet, had some protein, got a little bit of carbs, and then ate that way. That is intuitively focused on like trying to get foods that you know are going to replenish your system as opposed to just take your energy away and change and alter the energy, okay? Because that stuff does mess with you. And I also focus on having a little bit of carbs, not because I'm trying to be Kim Kardashian. Okay. All right. Not because I'm trying to be Kimmy, but because I know that when I have too many carbs, my blood sugar goes all over the place. And when my blood sugar goes all over the place, my anxiety comes like a freaking mad woman. Okay. So there's that. Another thing you control is your cosmetics. You guys, this is why I do what I do. This is honestly why I do what I do. So many of you guys know that I have my business, right? I work with my Nate. I love those hair products. And one of the reasons why I love the hair products is not only because of my story with eczema and my scalp and how embarrassing and humiliating it is whenever I have an outbreak and my shampoo never cleans it off. It makes me look like I'm dirty when I'm not. 
Monate works for me. But what I also love about the company is if you don't know this, Monate stands for modern nature. So it's taking modern technology and modern science, all right, and using natural products and natural ingredients like flower extracts and things like that to help us be able to cleanse our hair without added hormones, without nasty toxins. And why is that important for you to be thinking about when it comes to your shampoo, when it comes to your makeup? You guys, I'm having to work on that right now. I need to find like really good clean beauty makeup because when you use this stuff that has toxins and chemicals that are placed onto your skin, okay, and your scalp is the same, all right? It's just skin. When it's placed into your skin, it affects and alters your energy, your DNA, your, your skin, your cellular, what is it, molecular structure, <laughs> right? Is being altered and affected by that foundation by that nail polish, by that, that, you know, eyeliner. Okay. All of that affects your body. You're, you're just, and I can see this because I have eczema. So I know that whenever I use really unhealthy products, I, it's like, I'm saving money. Sure. But then all of a sudden I have huge eczema flare ups. That's my body changing and altering because of what I'm doing to it. So look at what are the ingredients within the, chem, the the products that you're using. Like I said, I now my hair care is good. I got good natural hair care, but I'm still having to work on where can I find good foundation? Same thing with nail polish. I did get this. This is organic nail polish uh, that I got from a nail salon, which is good. Uh, but nail polish is, is, is a real thing that we need to really look at because a lot of this has like formaldehyde in it and your nail bed is so sensitive. So it naturally just goes straight into your bloodstream and all of that is affected. That's why pregnant women, they tell not to get chemical relaxers. They tell not to put um, um, toxic nail polish on because it's affecting you. It's not only affecting and affecting the development of the baby. Think about that. So it's not just pregnant women, right? We just put it to like, oh, well, you're pregnant, so you shouldn't do this because it affects the development of your baby. Honey, it's affecting the development of all of us. Isn't that like, right? <laughs> okay, so it's important to keep that stuff in mind. Put a four in the comments if you feel what I'm saying. It, I mean, today I just realized that I'm like, what am I doing? Another thing, what you have control over when it comes to your energy is your mindset. You guys, if you're waking up every day with no morning routine that focuses on replenishing you and giving you the energy that you need, even if it's just three minutes, you are completely neglecting your mindset, completely neglecting. So what I want you to do is wake up every morning, do, do a, a quick gratitude thing. If you only have three minutes, wake up, say, these are the three things that I'm grateful for. I really give as much energy as you can muster up that morning to give. Hi, Charlotte. I didn't even know that you were here. Well, welcome. <laughs> it didn't announce that you were here. But yes, make sure that you take time every day and every night to say thank you, God. Thank you to the universe. Thank you to whoever uh, uh, about the things that you can be grateful for because that changes your mindset. If you have a little bit more time, read some freaking books, y'all. Your mind is a muscle. It needs to be fed with knowledge more than just watching Beyonce Homecoming on Netflix, which is what I'm going to do after this. Okay. I deserve it. <laughs> no, but listen, we, we relax our minds all the time. We spend a lot of time relaxing it with Instagram, with Facebook, with Netflix, with Hulu, all of that. Sometimes you need to and like uh, bring some power and some life into your mindset. So read new books, you know, um, watch videos that are about, you know, elevating your mindset. Give your mind some time to kind of like exercise itself and develop itself. All right. So focus on what music are you listening to? What TV shows are you watching? What books are you reading? And I really want to take a moment to talk about music because today I was rocking out to Beyonce, which is also probably why I was feeling myself, feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my fellow that. Okay. <laughs> if this is your first time watching me, I'm a little crazy. So just hold on. <laughs> no, but for real, I was listening to Beyonce and I realized how much, like, I know that she's very protective of her energy. Very protective. You got to be that kind of fierce about your energy, too, girl. You got to be fierce. Are you listening to music that's like, like th there's this one song. Oh, what is it? Um, I think it says, All My Friends Are Dead. I hate that song. Um, <laughs> these kids, these, 
these days, they don't know real music. And I hate to be the person that says that because I hated it when people said it about my music. But I'm just saying, and I hate, I don't listen to it. Because I know that I'm like, my mind is accepting that as like an affirmation. That's not good, you know? Um, there's another song too that's out there that's kind of similar with that similar vibe. You know, if you're listening to things that are like, I'm so horrible, I never find love, I'm not worthy, things never work out for me, blah, blah, blah. You jamming, girl, but you also affirming all of that while you jamming, okay? That's no bueno, all right? Hashtag no bueno. That is truly bad for your system because your mind is starting to play that over and over again. And then when you're at your lowest point, that affirmation kicks back in. I'm not worthy. I'm not cool. No one loves me. I'll never have friends. All my friends are dead. You know, like, <laughs> hi, Amy. Hi, Selena. Right? So be mindful. What are you listening to? Like, why was I feeling myself today? Because I was listening to Beyonce and her whole homecoming album is basically like, I'm better than everybody out here. <laughs> So you end up being like, yeah, I'm good. You know, I'm the shit. <laughs> right? That's why a lot of us love Beyonce, truly, because she is unapologetically herself. And so many of us are not unapologetically ourselves. We're afraid to be too wild, to be too black, to be too, to be too white, to be too whatever, that we hold back and we stop and we're like, oh, I don't want them to think that I'm too like feminist. Oh, I don't want them to think that I'm too girly. So we hold back who we naturally are, and that makes us feel small, right? We see someone like Beyonce, who is like, girl, I'm black, I'm a feminist. This, I'm loud, I can dance, I can sing, I'm talented, you know, <laughs> she, we, and we love it. We're like, oh my God, yes, finally a woman who like gets us. And that's because she's unapologetically herself. Be mindful about what you are putting into your body and into your mind, okay, especially because you have all these disadvantages that are already changing and altering your energy already the minute that you wake up with that alarm clock, okay? So, and then the other thing is community. The last thing is community. Uh, you have control over your community. So you can choose which family members you're going to spend a lot of time with, okay? I know it's hard to think about it because there's a lot of consequences with family members, and so it's a deeper thing. But at the end of the day, and glossing that over because I know it can be a deep thing, at the end of the day, if you guys hear my cat meowing, he, he's just lonely. <laughs> it's because we've been out all day. So he's like, where are you being, Ma? Anyways. Uh, but yeah, you can choose which family members you're spending a lot of time with. Same thing with friends. You know, even if it means that you'll be really lonely, don't spend too much time with friends who are not elevating you, who are making you feel like a victim all the time, who are making you feel bad. Don't spend too much time with those people. Because at the end of the day, girl, that girl that is trying to make you think that you can't do certain things and that you can't find a better man or a better girl or that you can't get that promotion or whatever, she is pulling you down and changing your entire mindset on whether or not you are capable when you are. Whatever situation that you're in, you are naturally capable to figure it out. Be mindful of who you are sharing your story with because that person that may be in your corner may not be in your corner. Do you feel me? I know you feel me. Connect, okay? So be mindful of that. And if you find that the people that you're surrounding yourself with, hi, Carol, if you're surrounding yourself with people who are negative, who don't believe in anything, it's time to go. Because that friend might have been there for your life, for that phase of your life, but now you're elevating, you're moving forward. And some of the people that you that you want, hi, Jennifer, yay, yay, Jen Berkey in the house. <laughs> some of the people that you want, to come along on this journey with you won't be able to, and that's okay. Appreciate the phase of life that they were there for and then move forward, okay? Hi, Megan, all right? Um, Charlotte says, I've got to stop hanging out with myself then. Girl, you might need to. That's why you gotta go back to the other step, right? Step four, mindset. <laughs> if you realize that you are the enemy, okay, then you gotta start changing your mindset, all right? You gotta start changing. I literally... When I heard that song that came on, All My Friends Are Dead, it was on the radio, and it came on, and I heard him saying that, I was like, no, switch. I don't want to listen to that, because I don't want that, like, in my mind all day long. Like, that's going to be stuck in my mind, and it's going to be something I naturally affirm. Sometimes, even, I'm going to be real, I love Adele, y'all. I love Adele. But sometimes I can't listen to her because I know that what she's saying makes me wallow and feel like I'll never find love. 
you know, even though I'm in love, <laughs> I'm in a relationship. But sometimes I'm like, you write a tell. Why? <laughs> and it's like, I got to be careful. My mind is absorbing adult energy and that's not good because it's changing my energy. And now all of a sudden I'm mad at my man and I don't got a reason to be. <laughs> Same thing with Beyonce. Be careful because she'll, she'll, she'll get you, you know, stuck. <laughs> all of a sudden you start treating your man like he cheated on you and you like, wait. And he's like, what happened? I'm not Jay-Z. And you're like, yeah, but you probably acted like him behind my back. I know. <laughs> Okay, I'm crazy. I need to tell. <laughs> but my point is still in. If you're struggling, if your answer to yourself is I need to stop hanging out with myself, then that's mindset, girl. That's totally mindset. But community is so important. It also could be community. So it's making sure that you don't spend too much time with certain family members. You don't spend time with too many friends that you know aren't elevating you. And also at work, you guys, I was the queen. Uh, the queen at my old job of being quick to have lunch by myself. I didn't eat lunch with anybody. <laughs> I would sit in my car. <laughs> I would go and take a nap, meditate, have my lunch. Sometimes I would go and hang out with Jason and I would be like, hey, boo, what you doing? You want to meet for lunch? Because I'm not hanging out with these girls. <laughs> and you want to know the reason why? It's because these girls at my job, they were constantly like fighting and there was always gossip and I was like, you know, I'm not trying to lose this job and I'm not trying to get involved. <laughs> so anytime somebody started to gossip with me and be like, Lexi, let me tell you this or whatever. I'd be like, oh, girl, I don't want to even hear that. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear nothing about nobody because I just don't even want to know. And it, it allowed me to then people started to tell, like, they started to know that they couldn't gossip with me uh, because I was just, I wasn't going to engage in the conversation. And so a lot of times it meant that I was lonely at my jobs, which sucked. But at the same time, it's like I also didn't have to deal with that, that negative energy. There are a couple of times where I had friends that I did connect with at my job and some of them I'm still friends with here on Facebook, which I love. But it was very rare um, because of the fact that I didn't want to gossip. I didn't want to play that game and I didn't want to end up getting stuck in the middle of it. Uh, so be careful about who you hang out with at work because you're spending so, many time, so much time with these people. You got to make sure that your energy is good. Okay. Um, and it's the same thing with, with your business. If you're in network marketing, you guys, we spent a lot of time together. If you're part of a really like close knit community, we spent a lot of time together. So with that being said, be careful about who you share your struggles with and who you're spending time with. But then when you're also creating your team, be careful who you spend time with. <laughs> No, but you feel me. Don't just add somebody because you're like, oh, yes, I got this money, girl. Yes, girl, it's not worth it. You're going to have to spend so much time with this person, and yet you and that person's energy don't match. So make sure that you're, you're looking for people to add to your team the type of people that you would want to work with, the type of people that you would want to have that energy with. Uh, Jen says, you always make me laugh. Oh, good. <laughs> yes, says, poor Forbes, girl, you know. Cause I'm crazy. I'll be going in on Jason all the time. I'll be like, listen, I know you cheated. And he's like, wait, what? I literally just came from a lunch break. <laughs> but that's because I listened to too much Beyonce. Okay. So you guys, this is going on so long. I love how much time you guys are spending with me. You guys are truly so amazing. So just to kind of round this up and end it off, this was such a long live and I really didn't mean for it to be, but I hope that it cheered you up. I hope that it gave you good, like a good laugh. And also I gave you some like empowerment, okay? Because uh, that was my goal today. And I was just so on fire with this message. But to wrap it up, you guys, choose everything wisely. Choose your friends wisely. Choose your, fr your, your music wisely. Choose your food wisely. As much as you can, because all of that stuff. Oh my God, Addy, I'm so happy you're on here because I was just thinking about you. <laughs> I was talking about work. And how I would be so like, okay, you guys, so Addy is um, one of my old coworkers. <laughs> and I would always be so like, I don't want to be involved. I don't want to, I don't want to know. I'm eating lunch by myself and all this other stuff. And I shared how I would only have like a couple of co coworkers that I would actually eat lunch with or connect with or whatever, because they had good energy. And I was thinking of you because you're the one for <laughs> And then here you are. <laughs> Addy is amazing, you guys. At one of my last jobs before I transitioned into being a full-time entrepreneur. 
uh, there was so much gossip and so much things going on energetically at that job. It was, it was wonderful, but there was also a lot going on. And Addie was really the only person at my job that like got it. So I spent more time with her and now we're still friends. And it's been like, I don't know, three or four years since we've worked together, but we're still connected and we're still friends because energetically, like we, we just knew she gets it. She, she gets it. She's not trying to be involved with all the nonsense, all the whatever. And you got to find, when you find those people, you stick with them. And that's why she's still on my girl gang. <laughs> but you stick with them. Don't be afraid to like avoid all of that energy because your energy is so important. Especially when you have children and you have a family, your energy is so important because if you're tired and exhausted and annoyed and all that stuff because of your coworkers at work, when you get home, your baby is getting all that energy. Your husband is getting all that energy. So you got to protect yourself. You know what I mean? I can talk about dealing with coworkers and things like that as well from an energetic standpoint in another video. Um, I did years back because of the stuff that was happening at my job. I actually did a video that if you've been watching me since then, I've been doing videos for like four years. Um, it's actually still over on my Facebook page, my official Facebook page, I think. Um, me just kind of I wasn't breaking down, but I was just really tired of everything that was happening at my job and how it was affecting me. So I shared a little bit about what I learned. So if you've been there since then that long, it's pretty awesome. Um, hi, Rachel. Bye. I love it. I love it. Okay. So yeah. So just in closing, you guys choose everything wisely. Okay. Recognize that everything you do, the music, the food, the cosmetics, all of that affects and alters your energy. If you are not feeling like yourself, Look back and ask yourself, what did I do today that fed my energy in a positive way, that uplifted me, that empowered me? Maybe it's even just taking this moment to spend it with me, to laugh and to just be in the community and hang out with a couple of girls as we just, you know, talk. Um, maybe this was it. You know, this is so much deeper than just self-care because self-care has become such a buzzword. This is truly about giving yourself the energy that you deserve and need in order to just survive and get through this crazy world that we live in. So relook at the things that you're doing that are contributing to the changes in your energy. Are they raising you up? Are they lifting you up? Or are they bringing you down? Look at that stuff. And don't just look at people. Look at your mindset. Look at your music. Look at your food. And try your hardest to really change those things if necessary in order to give yourself the, the true advantage that you need, all right? So I hope that you guys love this. I so deeply appreciate the fact that you spent 32 minutes with me. This is a long freaking life. <laughs> So it will not be available on IGTV because it's way too long. Um, but I definitely appreciate you guys. I hope you have a wonderful and amazing Wednesday night. I am pumped tonight because this was such a great topic. Tomorrow, Avengers Endgame comes out. I literally am so excited. So I have to work in the morning on my business. And then I'm going to take a nap in the afternoon so I can be awake <laughs> for the Thursday night Endgame. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. I can't even contain it. Okay, so is anybody else an Avengers fan here or are you all just like, she is really crazy? <laughs> I'm like, you guys, this has been a year of just like waiting. Oh, so tomorrow that will happen. So I won't be live tomorrow night, at least not on this kind of stuff. If I do go live, it's just going to be me freaking out over the Avengers. <laughs> but thank you so much, ladies. You are awesome. I hope you have a wonderful and amazing night. Bye, guys. <laughs>